Hello and welcome back to yet another mission of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We're looking at the Legacy Pack and we're playing it on Nightmare Difficulty Iron Man first blind playthrough. And I must say so far we have four, four flawless missions in a row. Um, I'm getting the hang of it and uh, the team that we have assembled is quite impressively strong. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Apparently this place is overrun by chrysalids. Redford's the first one to take a look. That does not look like a chrysalid. Your intel, my friend, is not good at all. Matter of fact, it sucks. Anyways, Redford's moving over. I deliberately wasn't going up all the way over here because we might have pulled another pack. Getting our other operators all the way up here. I think we're going to stasis the Andromedon. I think, or we're going to stasis the Archon. Either is a really good option. DJ, do me a favor, play us some music. Nice UFO soundtrack in the background, by the way, I love it. We're just shy of being able to media attack some of these guys. That's too bad. A media attack and then an inspiration to throw like an acid grenade. That would be a really good combination. Got an EMP grenade. Six damage. Disorients mechanical units would be only uh, usable for the Codex in the first round. Not the worst idea. Would be of course better with the second mechanical unit. We could use a Shredder gun. So that's actually one option. Using this shredder gun. Deals a substantial amount of damage, but we would need to kill all of the enemies. Plus it, get it gets rid of all of their cover. Hmm. We have enough firepower. I feel we can save our we can save our um, stasis most likely and we also do have comet presence so we could hand over an ability theoretically to our psyker uh, psyker Hmm. All right, let's do it. I think it's a good idea. Get some. A lot of shredding. Some pretty good damage. Got a clone out there. Uh, 
one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four. Thinking about if we could get the Andromedon down. I think that would be important. Andromedon is at 1 HP, that's good. Because now... We can set up for a good Lightning Hands attack. In order to do so, let's see if we can. I'd like to remove the cover here. We could remove it with a grenade, wouldn't be the worst option. Matter of fact, let's do that. I'm still setting up for the face-off, which is going to be our quote-unquote finishing move. There we go. The idea would be that all of uh, them more or less are going to die. I guess that uh, worked reasonably well. Killed all of them in one go. If we were to hit this guy, uh, we would not get disarmed next turn, so I think we're going to go for this. I really don't like the Psy Bombs. Moving behind the tree, and let's take a shot. Well, that was not good. Okay, but I mean, we killed the whole pack, it's just the shell. Okay, so the shell moved to here, which means there's the next. Uh, the... Okay, so I'll admit it was probably a dumb idea to go by myself, but what were the chances of you guys tagging along to go look for my records? Slim to none. But you gotta think long term. I'm looking out for our future. We can't afford to lose the music of our past, can we? So we killed a lot of them in the first turn, which means we can slow down just a little bit now. So Bradford's moving down as well, taking a solid overwatch, and overwatch. Yeah, his weapon range is limited, so I would rather 
put him over here so he could uh, grapple up. That's fine. Another overwatch, and we should be good to go. Yeah, pretty solid start for the mission. I think that was good. Turns on to overrun 10. But the chrysalids were still coming out of the woodwork. I didn't give a damn about the DJ's records, but that didn't stop him from ignoring the fact that we were out here protecting him while he nursed his alleged back injury. Gonna push my luck. So let's see if that triggers another pack. It doesn't. Getting some new bonus focus. And now our job is really to, to push forward. I'm all over. Double movement. Yeah, I would put the sniper over here. We can still grapple our way upwards. That's fine. I go quickly. The main idea is not to lose too much time, specifically if we're on a 10 rounds timer. I don't know how tight the remaining timeline is, but yeah. Chrysalid is burning from acid, acid, acid means the suit ran back yeah, to the chrysalids. Moving. And yeah, well, I guess we just found the chrysalid pack. Into uh, into the enemy <laughs> um, into the enemy's direction, Deploying kind of full force. Combo. These guys here are nasty, nasty. Yeah, unfortunately, one damage, two less. I think we're instead of stasising the Andromedon, who is not really dangerous, we might want to think about casting stasis on one of these guys here. So that's one down. At least four round. Before we soul fire, I would like to hand over. Well, that's a good question. Who should get an extra turn? Probably Bradford here. 85 percent mm. you know what probably not 
Let's give it to our... No, I did a mistake. The sniper needs two action points. Ah, oh, that was an absolute newbie mistake. What the heck? Shouldn't have done that. Really, that was an incredibly newbie mistake. Central is probably moving back. I would like to give Central also an 8 protocol. Because he's most likely going to be the one that's going to be attacked. stand here although we're not attacking one of them like nightmare movement range should end sooner so we're only going to be attacked by one of them Unfortunately, the latter one charges in first. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. There is the parry. I am the focus of their attack. Oh, interesting. One of them decided to run away. How is that possible? Like, how can we blade master him back there? Oh, okay, I see. He already ran all the way to us, and then we, we gave him like the Blade Master attack. Well, that's some bonus damage right there. Like I said earlier, the DJ was essentially a walking target in combat. He refused to even pick up a gun, much less fight with one. The best we could hope for was that he kept his head down and his mouth shut until we reached the evac point. So moving up, no problem, boss. because we need to keep moving. We're going to kill the suit. Let's hit the one in the back. It damages a very solid start. And we just got, uh, gained our third focus. Very good. Okay. So we can finish this guy. You will pay the price. A bit annoying with the, the acid here on the ground.
right, Bradford's moving into position. Taking a solid overwatch. Wow, whatever happened there. Okay, the chrysalid tried to borrow. Come on. You can't really blame me for playing around with alien technology. You guys do it. Don't think I haven't seen your toys. I, mean, I could have taken things a little slower. Maybe done some testing first, but sometimes you just gotta jump right in and pull the trigger, you know? There we go, our temple just massacres, massacres them. Got it. Moving. Moving on. I think we need a round for reload. Yeah, pretty much. I go. Everyone's low on ammunition. Reload, reload, reload. They're under the ground. Adjusting sights. There we go. Good job, Bradford. Don't let them make a fool out of you. Couple of chrysalids ain't got shit on Bradford. The DJ had shown that at least he felt some contrition for his mistakes. And his heart was probably in the right place if it meant pissing Advent off. I wasn't ready to let him off the hook just yet, though. We were still in the thick of his mess. I'll take the high road! Let's go, baby. Taking high ground. Redford moves in. This here, by the way, could have been a faceless one, but he's running away, so I assume he's not. Another chrysalid down. I would like to use our Templar, though. Eleven damage is really, really good. I'm not even, uh, I'm not even accommodated to so much damage in that ballistic uh, foreman run that we just did. It, the maximum damage was like seven, and that already felt quite good. But eleven, that's impressive. Good to go. Yeah, nice. Big fat extra pack of chrysalids. Not good. Well, that was a mistake, buddies. You're just lucky you weren't around for some of my earlier experiments. A green plug here, red one there, some other alien stuff. Yeah, you can say. I had a few close calls. I'm guessing I won't be having kids anytime soon either if you catch my drift. I'll tell you what, I know how to put a ham jam in a womb bone anytime. Nice one, shredded, and everyone took some damage. I love it. Redford's moving up. He's getting close and personal. 
nice little 100 percent shot there we go good job hair trigger nope. Not this time Jay's moving in. I will tear you apart. Yeah. I guess we have that under control. Oh my god, we can one shot them. Hostile target dies. As you command. None evade detection. Yeah, pretty easy Wasn't against the chrysalids. There's no way we could fend off this many chrysalids forever. If we didn't keep moving, there was a risk of being overrun entirely. I'm just wondering what all of these civilians are doing here and why the chrysalids are so gently ignoring them. the DJ to safety. No thanks to him. I can handle that. I will go. Rolling. Oh, we're already Maybe past the 200,000 mark. That's interesting. Attacking on sight. I think we're almost scoring maximum wouldn't you rather deal with this now than later anyway? There could be thousands of those things in the ocean, maybe tens of thousands. If I hadn't have drawn them in, you wouldn't even know they were out there. I mean, you could almost say, I help you guys out. Really? I go as ordered. All right, let's wait one more turn. Maybe something t uh, pops up. And we could get some extra points. Elsewise, we're just calling it a day. I'll keep a watch for Overwatch, I'm on it. on it. Moving Overwatch. I will watch. The more he talked, the more I realized this guy had a few screws loose. I was starting to worry his stupid ideas might actually sink in. We were all pretty tired, and we didn't have the energy to think his nonsense through. Well, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we maximized the score. We took a few hits here and there. The chrysalids don't stop until they're dead. Fortunately, we made it clear with the DJ alive and ready to steer us towards more problems. Oh, wow. We picked through the settlement and salvaged what we could. We were slowly piecing together some decent gear. But we had to choose carefully. I mean, the Arashi is also pretty good. We do have a melee, um, a melee ranger. Uh, we, we already have like the Templar, but he has a Reaper. So I feel that Redford's stronger with a Katana. Also, Katana completely ignores all of um, all of the armor. On the other hand, Arashi, Hair Trigger. 
incredible amount of damage. Let's take a Rushy this time. He got untouchable. That's great. I like it. Arc Wave not so much, but it's okay. Soul Steel is good. Insanity is good. Domination is incredibly good. Yeah, and we're keeping up with the pace, so if we maybe flawless uh, the other two missions, we might be good to go. To recap what we've learned so far, the DJ had taken alien technology, screwed around with it, and accidentally created chrysalid lures that he then placed along the coast, which attracted hordes of these monsters from the ocean of all places. This is when I almost lost it. Because this is when we found out about the DJ's boat docked outside another city further up the coast. On board was his computer, scheduled to broadcast the latest pre-recorded installment of Pirate Radio. What choice did we have? We set off for yet another target. The DJ is the best. So careless. And I think he's not really understanding that he's making a mistake. Move together in silence. We barely had any time to reach the boat before that transmission was scheduled to inadvertently call in even more chrysalids to the shore. So we're looking at 50,500. No so we had to work our way through the streets with the DJ giving us directions over the comm link. 50,500 maximum. And that's going to be difficult to achieve, but we're going to see in the next mission whether or not I can pull it off. So far we're on a pretty good run. Uh, five flawless missions in a row, and that's going to be hopefully number six. So see you all in the next mission, guys.